This is a, a game I should have brought, you know, a pot of beef stew downstairs with to <laughs> be able to enjoy. So let's see here. Gosh, I'm not quite sure where one would look for. Is there any sort of map? Or, oops, that's a match, not a map. <laughs> Try to figure out where might be a good spot to find some sort of axe or other tool, something like that. I'm still so glad we got that can opener. So there's that other house out there. I'd like to maybe head back in off the lake for a little while. Ooh, don't watch your ankles. Oh, hmm, that place looks like it could be interesting. There's, a, I guess, a couple other houses over there. It's, I really love the outdoors area. I'd like to maybe head back in a little bit, see if I can maybe find the road, and then see if we can follow the road for a little while as well. Um, just to, you know, explore a little bit more. Again, I hate for the entire time... Oh. The entire time to just be me searching through things the entire time. Oh, man. That wolf just went to town on whatever little thing that was. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I hate for the entire thing to just be me searching stuff. I'd really like to show you guys, kind of explore things, see all the different spots there is to check out. See, as soon as I get eaten by yet another wolf. <laughs> Let's get on to... Unfortunately, it's cold enough that we're not breaking through into the lake at all. I'm sure if we go out far enough that might pose a problem, but hard to say. I, as much as I'd like to check out that house, I don't want to get too close to any wolves. And in fact, let's preemptively... Uh, let's see here. Oh, preemptively equip that flare. Okay, perfect. And I just gotta remember to hold down left mouse button to holster it for right now. Um, just gotta remember to hold down left mouse button to light the sucker if we come across wolves again. It's, yeah, for anybody that's spent a lot of time out in the snow like this, it's amazing how quickly you get worn out. That's, that's the trouble with doing... I did Boy Scouts while I was in Colorado, so basically my entire time in the Boy Scouts was spent in the snow. <laughs> I got hypothermia during summer camp one time. That was fantastic, but <laughs> it's uh, amazing how quickly you'll get worn out, how thirsty you can get, how hungry you can get so quickly. Just, you know, the extra energy you spend trudging through the snow versus just walking along normally. Ooh, here's a car. So, yeah, this... That's what really fascinated me about this game. What do we got here? Trunk is locked. We don't have any tools. Pop the hood. Uh, looks like it wants me to interact with the battery, but I can't. Just pop on in. What do we got? Ah, oh, candy bar on the dash. Here. Jackpot. Nothing on the radio, huh? Water in the glove box. Apparently, I'm the only person that actually keeps gloves in the glove box. No keys, either. Hmm, blast. Hmm, okay. Is this a dead end? I can't quite... Commuter's Lament. <laughs> uh, wow. Huh. See, I wonder if... The road was somehow blocked off the main way out and people were just simply unable to get out hard to say hmm hard to say all right what time is it 9 a.m. oh we are very cold I think hopefully I'm not sure if running is gonna keep us warm or if it's just burning through all of our calories. We are freezing and we are losing our condition, but 77, that's still not bad. And it seems like there's enough kind of buildings along the way that if we need to, we'll be able to pop into a place and warm up for a little while, so that shouldn't be too bad. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. I like how minimal the hut is too. It just really tells you just enough, even just kind of the dot right in the middle is and things will, you know, contextually pop up. The calories will kind of fade in and out. 
uh, as it just faded out a condition and then just, you know, if we're freezing or hungry, that sort of thing comes up as well. Oh, man. So, gosh, I guess I came from way over there. I've already made a decent amount of progress kind of crossing land. Uh, hopefully we can find something. And it looks like there's another car up here ahead. Oh, and oh, sweet. I'm trying to tell what all... Interesting, huh. I'll check the car in a sec. I guess these are more huts. Stuff like that. I've got some music, too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Well, we had some music. Didn't feel like listening to music anyway. I have to add my own. Hope nobody needs this anymore. <laughs> Gonna have to add my own, just completely contextually, you know, unrelated to anything. We'll just get some groovy dancing, you know, jazz music or something like that. Make it seem like my situation is much better than it is. You know, I've got all the orange soda I need. I can just do some dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna have my orange soda party. You know, again, if I'm gonna go, you know, either in my sleep or just in this house, partying down, drinking all the orange pop that I can, which I have even more of now, you know, I'm gonna go out on my own terms. That's the way to do it. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh. Where are pancakes when I need them now? Wait a minute. Yeah, pancake teas. The else has already been, well, been here, ate all the food, left all the dishes. Looks like this has been here a while. Left all the tins of sardines. Ugh, oh, raw rabbit. I'll leave that for now. <laughs> I still don't have any wood, so don't want to try to cook anything up. Just yet. Ah, water. It's, yeah. If anybody's ever done any survivalism training, anything like that, water is probably one of the most critical. You know, find yourself some shelter and then find yourself some water. It's, it's one of those vital... You can go a decent while without eating. It's, I've gone a long time without eating before, but... Not having water is, especially in a situation like this, is just bad all around. Let's see here. It's, I'd be curious to know... I, I, see, I wonder if some of these games are so popular because we live, or at least plenty of us, live in such kind of easygoing times. You know, most people don't really have to practice any survival skills. You know, I say that as just typical person in the U.S. that, you know, for the most part, we have things pretty easy going. Oh, nice. Let's take all... Water's water. I'm not above drinking toilet water. It should be pretty well clean, really. Um, You know, most people don't have to really use those survival skills, so... A game like this where you get to kind of exercise some of that a little bit, you know, even playing pretend, is just such a change of pace from what we've been used to for so long. Oh, firewood jackpot. That, yeah, I just, I, I worry if people, some people are ever put in a situation where they have to survive, how they'll respond. I mean, that's probably why people love TV okay. shows like... Something like The Walking Dead, that sort of thing, so much, because those are the situations that we really don't get a chance to get put in, and it really makes people think, the how will I respond in this sort of situation? Am I going to be... Ah, nice. Am I going to be as good as I think I am at things? You know. But so few people, I feel like, really kind of take the time to, or really have the opportunity to practice their survival skills. You know, I'm... I, live in a decent place and I'm close enough to enough national forests, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I have training from Boy Scouts, U.S. Army, that sort of thing, ROTC, that, you know, I feel like I would do all right and I've been backpacking by myself enough times that I, I trust in my own abilities and I've gone through some of these situations to be able to try to survive. But how do you, if you have an interest in that, but no real chance to try to practice those things, you live in some big city or, 
you just don't really know to, where to begin. Um, it's kind of hard to just jump right in and say, I'm going to learn how to survive. <laughs> and then just kind of sleep in your car for a night and say, yep, I'd be fine. So, it, something that's yeah always interesting and worth looking into. Those kinds of skills that we take for granted. Things to kind of practice or work on or just, you know, taking the time to enjoy camping you'll it's amazing how much you appreciate a can of coke or a nice meal that sort of thing after you've been camping backpacking by yourself for several days what the what was that I'm encumbered anyway I should eat some of my food what was that Stacy's grape soda I, I have so much orange soda stuff like that let's go ahead and fill up on pop for a while Yeah, it's, it's things like that will definitely make you appreciate a nice home-cooked meal or even eating out, that sort of thing, if you've been, you know, living off MREs and that sort of thing for a good long while. Oh, jackpot. Fortunately, yeah, our clothing seems to be doing pretty well. Huh, synthetic top layer. Leaves the arms exposed. I'm sure our down ski jacket. Actually, can we... Can we repair that, I wonder? A down ski jacket repair. Down ski jacket. Our repair skill, interesting. I didn't realize we had skills. And we had cloth, too. 34 to 64. Oh, excellent. What did that do for that sucker? Oh, nice. That actually helped a ton, so... Man, can we go ahead and tear this vest apart? Insulated vest. One cloth. Um, and but the cargo pants. Yeah, let's do that. I really need to make better use of some of these things. Man, that takes a decent amount of time too. Uh, can we use that to repair our Dansky jacket even more? Sixty-four. Ninety-four. My gosh, that's perfect. What's it doing for us? Oh man, excellent. Excellent. 